Hi quilters, it's Katrina from Sun Shower Quilts, and today's video is on the AccuQuilt Studio stocking die. Now this is a wonderful die, two dies actually, I'll show you that in a minute, and it makes a very uh, small, more traditional sized stocking. This uh, stocking is a great size for doing charity work, or for donations, or for a bottle of wine, something like that. So, uh, I did download the pattern that's on the AccuQuilt website, but I wasn't using fun fur or anything like that. I wanted to use uh, quilting fabric and I wanted the stocking line. So I came up with a different way to put this uh, together. So I hope that you will join me as I show you an alternate method for making nice little stockings. Okay, so the Studio Stocking Die Set is comprised of two dies. One is the stocking body and the other is the cuff. Okay, we'll deal with the stocking body first. So I've outlined my die with a silver sharpie and put the, some measurements on it so that I know it's 13 inches of fabric from here to here and 9 and a half inches at its width. So what you can do if you're dealing with yardage um, is fold your fabric selvage to selvage and then again. Now, this is a directional print. So if I was to put my little snowman this way, they'd be upside down in my stocking. Just something to remember. So what you can do is, if you've got your fabric double folded like this, so selvage to selvage and then edge over, you can lay that across the die making sure that you're going to be right side up. So you can see that my snowmen look crooked but they're actually going to line up nicely with the die. And you can cut up to eight layers at a time on the studio. So you can cut that through. So that's cutting the stocking part. Now to cut the cuff, your die blades are actually only on three sides. And you can see I've put fold here. So if I wanted my cuff fabric, I would lay it across this way with the fold up here because the fold isn't going to be cut. That's the fold that's going to be on your cup. So I like to just draw this under like this so that the edges of my blades are here and so I will get a nice cut edge. Now, what you want to do is, this is the AccuQuilt pattern, but I sort of followed this but I added on to it. So if you want to download this, this is a free download on the AccuQuilt site. What you're going to need is your one cut cuff. You can see there's my fold. You're going to want mirror images okay, of your stocking and two of whatever liner fabric you want to make. This is just muslin. And you also want to cut I wanted a tab, so I used my two and a half inch strip die and I cut two and a half inch strips by seven and a half or eight inches. Okay? Take this to your ironing board and press it in half. Sorry. And then press the two raw edges to here and fold. So you've got a nice finished tab. I also like to press my cuff as well. Next, you're going to take it to your sewing machine and you're just going to sew about 16th of an inch in. You can do the other side as well if you want for the tab. Then you're going to do something a little weird. You're going to take your two pieces of stockings, put them right sides together, and you're just going to sew quarter inch in just from the top of the inside to about there. And you're going to do the same thing for your lining. You can't really see my thread because it's off white. So you've done that and that on those and you've sewn your little tab. You can set aside your tab for now. Next, you're going to sew right sides together one long edge of the cuff to this weird stocking looking shape and the same thing for your lining. So you end up something that looks like this. Take your tab and you want to make sure that you pin it. Can you see the fold? You want to make sure that you pin it right near the top of the fold and do this just like that and you don't want to pin right to the edge because we're going to be sewing so keep your pin away. This is just to hold your tab in place. 
Next, fold this right sides together and you can add some pins around if you want. Now, see right here where my stitching stops? What we're going to do is we're going to leave maybe a two inch gap and we're going to sew all the way around. Coming up to where the tab is in here, you see that? And you're going to back stitch over that just for extra security. Match up these, go all the way around here and back up to where you stop sewing. Once you finish that, you'll have something that looks like this. So everything's all sewn except we have a gap right here. Next, you're going to want to take your hemostats, insert them in, grab onto the edge of your stocking with your hemostats. Hemostats make it so that you don't have to um, insert your whole hand into the stocking. And if you have large hands like me, that's an issue. I would have to leave a very large gap to fit my hands. And I'm just going to turn this right side out. I'm going to go in here, grab onto the edge of the rest of the stocking. And you can see how nicely that just pulls right on through. So you're going to take a little bit of time to push all of this out. You have this little gap right here. Now I've just used a muslin for the lining. So what you can do is just press these edges under like this. Okay, put a couple pins in and you can whip stitch this closed or honestly what I do is I take it over to the sewing machine and I just sew a uh, sixteenth of an inch in. Nothing big. Now there you can see our tab and our cuff and our stocking. Now I'm just going to take this edge of the stocking, separate this out, and we're just going to push this Pretend that's sewn all the way in, like this. And this is a good chance to push out the edges of the stocking, just like that. And you can see how this is really starting to take shape. Pull it up. And there you have it. One, beautifully done, stocking ready to fill for Christmas. And you can see how nice and easy that is. You get a nice colored cuff on the inside, so it really doesn't matter that it's just a muslin in the middle because you can't really see it at all. I hope you can see that picture. And I think you can see how fast and easy this is. You could chain piece lots of these all at the same time. You could do... Um, nice teacher gift presentations or things like that with that. So again, you can get this free pattern off of the AccuQuilt website uh, for the Studio Stocking Die. However, it uses um, fun fur instead of quilting fabric and it makes an unlined stocking. The cuff gets folded over and then top stitched around, which is a still a great method if you were using something like velvets or fun fur and surging that edge. However, I again wanted to use my quilting fabric and I didn't want to leave the raw edges inside. So using this method uh, with the muslin for the liner, you don't have to use muslin, you can use any fabric, uh, you get a lined stocking with no internal raw edges whatsoever. So it's a little bit nicer of a presentation uh, to my eyes and a little bit more sturdy, I would say. So I hope that you'll check out the stocking dies, check out the pattern, and again, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, if I didn't make something clear, you can leave the comments here uh, on YouTube or you can post them to my blog. Uh, HTTP sunshowerquilts.blogspot.com so again sunshowerquilts.blogspot.com or you can check me out on Facebook facebook.com slash sunshowerquilts I hope you guys have a great day and happy quilting